Welcome to this episode of Oversimplified Everything. This series aims to oversimplify everything, such as cartoons, characters, logos, mascots, and more. And in this episode, we'll be doing cartoon characters. Unfortunately, when it comes to cartoon characters, oftentimes, their designs are too unique, too appealing. I don't understand why anyone could like them. So we're going to make them look more corporate to fit with the modern age, so they'll look good on a Nickelodeon business card. Right here we got this cutscene that really makes my blood boil. So much personality, I can't handle it. So the first character we're gonna start off with is speaking of Nickelodeon, let's make Mr. Nickelodeon himself SpongeBob SquarePants. Now when it comes to SpongeBob, the only reason why people like SpongeBob is because he's a square. Really much the same reason why people like Paper Mario because it's paper. So we're just gonna start off by drawing SpongeBob out. Then we're gonna draw the pants. Gotta make this family friendly guys. All right, our logo's almost done. Things are looking quite good. Just need to tone up the pants a little bit. There we go. Oh, missing one pixel right there. Kind of hard to use this with a mouse, but again, we don't need much of a budget when it comes to oversimplifying everything. Right, here we go. We got a yellow line right here. Doesn't really look good, but yet again, SpongeBob wouldn't have a yellow belt. Unless he was doing karate or something. Honestly, when was the last time Spongebob did karate? It seems like they kind of made Sandy a scientist instead. But we're just gonna color this in right here. And we're almost done! We will give him some eyes though. Gotta make sure this is a character. But a mouth is too much, along with a nose. Alright, we're just gonna make this more centered. Alright, and we're almost done! We just need the background right here. Make it a nice ocean blue color. At least what the ocean looks like in Bikini Bottom. And our oversimplified Spongebob is almost done! Takes a while to load. So in the meantime, just, you know, watch a movie, get a cup of coffee, create an idea for a new spin-off show that breaks all continuity. Yeah. Alright, what we're gonna do is say goodbye to Spongebob right here, and now bring in Patrick. Oh uh, hey, I don't know what I'm doing here. It's like 3 a.m. I don't really feel like being turned into an oversimplified logo. Uh. When it comes to Patrick, he's a star. Literally, he's a star. Along with a figurative star, he's a literal star. What we're gonna do here is draw out the star. Sometimes the mouse is a bit finicky, as I said before, but usually works quite nice. Honestly speaking, guys, this mouse is absolutely disgusting. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it has to do with the plastic, but this is beyond the normal yellowing that you'd get from Super Nintendo. Like. It's yellowed inconsistently, like in all different spots. It looked like someone who had it before was a chain smoker. Which, by the way guys, don't smoke. Because your Super Nintendo will turn yellow because of that. Also because of the plastic. So when it comes to Patrick's design, we are gonna give him a nice pair of pants. Like I said before, gotta keep the monetization. So we're just gonna fix this up right here. Add the pants. Bring this up a little bit so it's more centered. Here we go. Then just make sure everything's looking good so that way we could fill it in with no problem. All right. Things are looking quite good. What do you think, Patrick? Uh, I don't understand why I can't have much design. I mean, when it comes to design, I think there's just like, you know, a body and a face and I think the designer forgot a brain for me. Uh, but could you at least give me some eyes? I can't see anything. Sure thing, Patrick. Thank you. I still can't see my forehead. Alright, we'll make the eyes bigger. Thank you. Hey, I can kind of see my forehead now. Alright, Patrick's done. What we're gonna do is make the background a nighttime background. This is what Bikini Bottom would look like at night. And I gotta say, this looks beautiful right here. Nickelodeon, if you're watching this, you could use this for the spin-off of the Patrick Star Show. The Simplified Patrick Star Show. Isn't this great right here? Actually, you know what? The spin-off show could feature Patrick's parents that aren't his parents that also aren't his parents that aren't his parents besides Marge and Janet. Or Janet and Marty. I said Marge because Janet looks like Marge Simpson. I think that was what the goal was of that episode. They can look like Marge Simpson. So we're just gonna say goodbye to Patrick. Bye, Patrick. Bye, Demich. And the next character we're gonna do is another Nicktoons character, none other than Carl Weezer. Why Carl Weezer? Well, unfortunately, Jimmy is helping me with this science experiment, turning everything into oversimplified logos, and he told me never to make an oversimplified version of him. 
So for Carl Weezer, we're going to start off with his body. That way, we can design his face a lot easier. When it comes to Carl Weezer, he is a bit chubby, that's for sure. But overall, he's a pretty simple character to design. Did you just call me chubby? Yeah, I sure did. Why would you do that? That's so rude. Uh, Demich, I'm gonna ban you from YouTube if you continue this. Nah, Carl Weezer, you know? We're making this an oversimplified logo. Consider it a compliment. Well, if you can make Judy into an oversimplified logo, I might like it more. Ah, uh, maybe another episode. It's like, thing right here. And we're just gonna add, you know, we're, no, we're gonna make him ride a llama. We're gonna make him ride an oversimplified llama. Now, llamas can come in many different colors, but usually when I think of llamas, they're like a more, you know, tannish color. So, actually, no, that would blend in too much. So, we're gonna make Carl have a gray llama. Did you know that llamas are actually related to drafts? Pretty cool fact right there. Oh, thanks, Demich. I really am happy you put me in Llama Palooza. When are they gonna have a switch port? You know, Carl, I think that'd be the only switch port I'd actually like. Oh, yeah. Llama Palooza. I wonder which one they're gonna add. Are they gonna add Llama Palooza Hyper Fighting Edition? Alright, this llama's looking pretty good so far. Look how happy Carl is riding the llama right here. Isn't this great? Oh, I definitely think it's great, Demich. Gonna give him some eyes. I'm talking about the llama, but Carl wears glasses. Here we go. Llama's looking good. For the glasses, we're just gonna draw him here. And I don't think he needs anything else. There we go. Carl Weezer is complete. Now, I think he's gonna go into the sunset. So we're gonna make the sky like a little bit purplish along with orange. Actually, no, we'll just make it purple because that's gonna suit the oversimplified design a lot more. Here we go. Everything's looking good. Now we're just gotta see if it goes to the other side too. And it is complete. Carl, why don't you critique this? Well, I really don't like the idea of oversimplified logos, but, you know, I think this design looks amazing right here. If not for the fact that I'm riding a llama and llama palooza. See ya! Oh, Judy! And the next character we're gonna do is none other than Shrek. Is he a cartoon character? Yeah, I guess so, because Shrek isn't a real person. So I hope. So when it comes to Shrek, he is also chunky. So we're just gonna draw his face like this. Hey, what are you doing? Can't really do Shrek, so I think we'll just leave it at that. Just gonna draw the antennas. Don't know why he has these antennas. He kind of looks like an alien, like maybe some sort of... That alien from the cool math game. He looks kind of like that here. Now he has a brown vest, so we're just gonna draw another circle out. This time, we're just gonna center it right here. Hmm, it does not want to cooperate. It does not want to cooperate, so we need to just compromise a little bit. So I think I'm just going to draw that one out right here. There we go. You know, one thing about Shrek is I used to love getting the Shrek McDonald's toys. I thought they were the coolest things. And it was really cool when they had them. I remember getting them for Shrek the Third, and also the Shrek Christmas thing. But to be honest with you, I think that was the only good thing about Shrek the Third. Alright. I don't know how to tie my shoes. And I don't know how to draw a shoelace type thing. So we're just gonna fix this up a little bit. Here we go. Then try again. Gotta keep on trying. Shrek, you are looking great. How do you like your redesign for Shrek 5? Yeah, I don't think it's very good. Maybe you could be in a movie that's based on a Dr. Seuss book instead. Alright. Actually, you know what? That looks more like a t-shirt than a vest. So I think we need to fix this. Because it doesn't look like it's working out too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a purple outline right here. There we go. We're not going to use the purple. That would be very weird because I don't remember Shrek ever wearing purple, even when he got married. And I don't think most people wear purple when they get married. But I do remember in the Dr. Seuss movie I'm talking about, they wore purple suits. Yeah, they did. All right, we're going to fix this right here. Color it in. I think we'll give him white shirt right there then we're just gonna make this brown right here and for the background we'll make it look like Shrek swamp all right things are looking quite good we need to give Shrek eyes though after all this wouldn't be Shrek without eyes 
So we're gonna give him the eyes, and we are good to go. Actually, you know what? I think in this case, we could give him a mouth too. So you're just gonna draw the eyes out right here. And just... I remember Shrek. Actually, he's not happy. Just give him some angry eyes right here. I know he didn't have the best teeth, so we're just gonna draw one tooth right here. Now let me ask any mathematician out here. If one third is one third and one fifth is one fifth, then would one slash two be one tooth? Actually, you know what? Let's fix this right here, because the outline looks really distracting compared to the rest of it, even though it's clearly defining a certain detail about the character. But I digress. We gotta make this look corporate. Then just change it up a little bit, and we are good to go, and I'm ready to send this to Disney. Alright. Not working out as I want to. Mickey Mouse, are you messing with this? Uh-huh, no. Alright. And here is Shrek. Isn't this amazing right here? You know, they could have used this in Shrek the Third, and I might have liked the movie a little bit more. And for the final character we are doing, we will do none other than Mickey Mouse himself. So now when it comes to characters, I'm surprised Mickey Mouse isn't in the public domain yet, but I'm sure Disney would never allow for that. However, that won't stop me from making a logo for him. A minimalist, oversimplified Disney character. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with the design. With Mickey Mouse's face, it's essentially a circle. Can't be an oval, has to be a circle. Then what we're gonna do is add the ears. Mickey Mouse is well known for his ears. After all, if you go to Orlando, you could definitely see all the Mickey Mouse ears as road signs. Very cool. Actually, I do find that cool. That is actually a very cool detail. Really tells you you're in Orlando. Or Kissimmee. Lake Buena Vista. Whatever it is. Although I consider it Orlando. That's what they consider most of the theme parks since it's that area. And we're almost done. Then what we're going to do is we're going to give Mickey Mouse his mouth right here. Give him the nose. Then with Mickey Mouse's design, he only wears pants, so he's kind of like Squidward in that way. This looks great. So good right here. I can't see why Disney didn't minimalize Mickey Mouse, or oversimplify him if you will. Alright, his pants are looking good. I'm debating whether or not to add the buttons, but that would not look aesthetically pleasing, so I don't think we're gonna do that. Here we go. Almost there. And then just gonna give him the arms. He's gonna say... Hello to everyone going to Disney World. Gonna give him some gloves. Just gonna be plain circle right here. And we're almost done. With Mickey's eyes, we do have to make a little bit of a compromise. Just gonna add the circles right here. We could give him pupils. I think that would actually make sense in this case. Actually, no, he looks terrified. So, you gotta know, scratch that. We'll give him small gray pupils. That way you can see them, but it's not distracting. There we go. We'll also make the background a bright yellow color. That way it stands out a little more compared to the oversimplified logo. All right, here's Mickey Mouse. Uh -huh. Look at me. I look great as an oversimplified logo. All right, you know what? I should just leave this to Carl and Patrick. And we're done. But anyways, guys, this has been Cartoon Characters Oversimplified. If you have any requests for topics or anything I should do, let me know. And as always, keep calm and da-da on.